So allow me to introduce you to Michael Bartlett. Hi folks, I'm Mike Bartlett. I'm a senior product manager at GitLab and I look after two areas. One is the core platform and that largely includes areas like authentication, user management, group management, uh, Git storage. And then the other area is gitlab.com, which is our software as a service um, cloud area where we host GitLab um, at massive scale where people can use it on our infrastructure. Wonderful. So the folks in the room were kind enough, gracious enough to give us a list of discussion topics for today's meeting. And I thought several of them were very uh, product focused and you'd be a, a great person to, uh, to, to get your voice on them. So uh, with that, the first one is, what do you think about GitLab having um, a native IDE integration or like client tools um, very specific to GitLab? That's a great question. Um, first of all, let me admit I've been a Git user for a very long time, and I use a desktop tool uh, called SourceTree. And SourceTree is a um, Git desktop client tool that's written by an another company. And because it's Git and Git is an open standard, um, you know a lot of the existing tools that are out there just work as long as your desktop tool you know, uses Git, you can pretty much use a lot of desktop tools with GitLab today. Having said that, we would still like to do a lot with more native desktop integrations. So rather than building our own desktop application, is to um, build some sort of plugins and integrations into other tools and make them a bit better. Um, we don't have any short-term plans to do that, but we're looking to do that in the long term. But what is happening right now is we're putting a lot of effort into our web IDE. So this is where you can basically just come in in your web browser and edit code if you see a merge request or some changes to the code that someone's made, rather than having to go and pull down the changes, you just click the edit button in your browser, make the change, commit it, and you're done. And there's a lot of great work going on right now to make that our web editor a true place that you can edit code. And so that's really exciting and something that um, you should definitely take a look at. Wonderful. So the second question is, around integrations. So we have integrations with tools like Jira for issue tracking, Slack for chat and chat ops. We currently don't have one for code review. Um, what are your thoughts on that? Well, one of the things that we're trying to do with GitLab is to make it a single environment for the complete DevOps lifecycle. So this means from issue management through code storage and creation, through code review, code quality analysis, continuous integration, deployment, testing, uh, canary deployments, and even post-production um, understanding, monitoring, and seeing how the application is performing. And we believe that if you have all of that capability in one place, it dramatically reduces the need to jump in and out of different tools and to spend time integrating different tools. And what that lets you do is it lets you focus on writing software, writing great software, and writing it quickly and getting it from an idea in someone's head out into production as quickly as possible. So we're trying to create a single environment to do all of that. And we have all of those capabilities ourselves. Having said that, we do integrate with some of the big leaders in the market. So as you said, with um, Slack, we integrate. We see a lot of our customers moving from other tools to GitLab. And it's very helpful that we have a Jira integration or a Jen Jenkins integration because that helps them move from some of those platforms to GitLab without having to disrupt anything. Um, and then finally, we have our own API, uh, which you can access either through a RESTful API, through web interfaces, or through uh, webhooks. And this will also allow you to perform custom integrations. So if someone does make a change in code, you can receive a notification via a webhook that that happened, pull down the code, run it through another code analysis software, and push the results back in. So it is possible to do, but you know we feel that our that GitLab is the best place to do all of that in a single environment. Wonderful. And then the third and final question is um, around scaling GitLab. So how does how do we scale GitLab at large for for uh, projects that are say you know ten thousand users or. 100,000 repositories. What's your story on that? Well, this is my favorite question because I guess earlier I said I looked after gitlab.com, uh, which is our uh, hosted uh, cloud service. And gitlab.com is exactly the same GitLab that our customers install. There's absolutely no difference. There's nothing special that we've done to it. All we've done is we take it and we run it at scale across multiple servers with redundant databases. 
And this is all available in the product today. So, you know, you might talk about 10,000 projects or users. We have, you know, hundreds of thousands, millions of users on GitLab.com, millions of projects. Um, so, you know, we're running at that level of scale and our customers really, when, when they run it at their scale, they have absolutely no issues with um, scaling to those sorts of numbers. Fantastic. Mike, thank you for your time. I really appreciate your, uh, your, your thoughts on, on these questions. All right, have a great uh, day. It's a pleasure. Bye. Bye-bye.